All right, we got the Haiku solar powered LED light. I'm be installing this thing out here and testing it out and we'll see how this thing works. It should be pretty bright with how big this LED is. You know, how many we got on here should be very bright. We'll go ahead and go over the specs. So the specs on it is the, it's the SZ300 commercial solar street light. So this light is supposed to be a 60,000 lumen light. Definitely we're gonna be testing it out to see how it does. It should be very bright. This thing has a 50,000 milliamp hour battery and it's a 400 watt light. So we'll see how long this thing will be able to run. You know, if the solar is going to be able to charge it back fully during the day and run all night. And, you know, definitely with it being that bright, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or if we'll have to set it down a little lower. But let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And it says it can run from 16 to 24 hours off the battery. So I guess depending on the setting that you have it at. But, you know, 60,000 lumens, you know, that's a lot of, lot of light. So, you know, definitely if it makes it all night, if that thing can make it 12 hours, it can make it through most nights in most places you know so it'll be good to go 16 for sure if it does that you know a lot of companies like to exaggerate with stuff like that but we'll check it out and the price on this light right now is 299 of course i'll leave it linked up below so if you're interested in something this bright you know and i'm pretty sure they're going to send me a discount code so we'll put that down there as well let's see what we got in the box and of course i had already took out the little manual that comes with it little instruction manual Piece of foam. There's your light mountain hardware here. Got some brackets and the arm. Got another bracket. I guess it's for the solar panel. Comes with a remote control. I was thinking the solar panel will do it onto the back, but comes with a separate solar panel there. All right, and my plan is to put it up here on my building, give this area a little more light on the side where it gets pretty dark. Anything walks up in the yard, you know be able to see it on the cameras all my cameras that i got of course i got a camera up here i got cameras all over the place but just want to be able to get all the dark areas get a little light on it so we'll be able to see what's going on you know and then we can set this to motion detection as well this thing has a lot of different settings and we'll definitely try them all out but let's go ahead and start getting this thing mounted all right gonna start out by just loosening up these bolts that's already on this so whenever we get to the point of sliding it on you know, we'll be able to slide it right on. All right. So test fit works. So basically got the diagram right here, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and then start putting everything together we can before we mount it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to mount is this bracket to here. All right. Basically be finding these two bolts here and a nut. You know, you'll see it in the package. There are only going to be two of them. That's going to mount those two together. They said it's mounted the bolt through there. Get the nut started. Got that nut on. Do the other one. And we won't tighten it down until we got it every, everything together. Completely at least. And basically this is what we got. With the two bolts in. Now we're going to take the bracket that's going to be holding the panel. And go ahead and mount it here. So basically this piece here. Going to mount on this. Go ahead and take the bolts and run that through there. All right, and basically you're gonna go find eight bolts, the smaller ones, eight screws, and then the nuts, the bolt and the nut. And there's gonna be eight of them, little handful. Gonna go find those, so there's eight holes and go ahead and install them. All right, basically I got two of them in. Then gonna go do the other six. And so you may wanna wait on the other ones because that's how you tilt it, you know? So maybe I'll put two more in and then just uh hand tighten it and then i can just go move the solar panel or however i need to move it depending on how you mount it and which way you need this thing facing towards the sun you know i'm probably just gonna have it kind of facing straight mostly straight up anyway so let me see here yeah i think i have it facing like that anyway so it'll probably be right all right so that's what i got so far so i think the thing would be kind of mounted like like this and then that would be facing a little more south this way all right i guess what i'm gonna do is just uh, take the nut slide it under here try to get it lined up you know this is not the greatest design in the world for sure just run it straight down in there and start tightening i have to get a, a wrench to hold it this bracket will basically be like this you can adjust this wherever you need it all right up here in the top of my building I don't have the top insulated yet still. 
and we're gonna try to figure out exactly where we want to put this thing i'm thinking about right here so basically that's what we're gonna have gonna drill the other three holes so i can use my phone to make sure it's level And of course, when the level is going to matter is on the outside, you know, because this thing has some play and movement, you know, it's just some backing. So, you know, we just want something to back it up. And let's go ahead and go on the outside where even as hot as it is, it's probably cooler than it is right here at the top of my building. And then down there, it's 60 some degrees. But because I don't have it insulated, it's kind of warm up here. All right, so I got two of the nuts on out here just to hold it together. Push all the two bolts back through, bring them back around on this side where it's supposed to be. Push them through and connect the two nuts and then flip around the other two as those two hold it. You know, if you have two people, I guess you can do it. You know, one person holding bolts out here, pushing it through, and then uh, tightening it on the other side. But I was just trying to make it as easy as possible on myself. I was worried that the thing would fall if I even put the four bolts in it to slid it in. I was worried that the whole thing would just fall over. So that's why I did it like this. All right, I got those two bolts out. Let's go put them in from the outside where they're supposed to be. I got the bracket mounted up there. Now we're getting ready to uh, make the connection for the solar panel and the light and then get the light on. All right, made the connection. Then screw the plug on. Don't drop the light. All right, so basically that's what we got. Solar panel's up, the light's up, and you see it's charging, the lights are blinking on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's go up there a little closer. As you might be able to see right there with the light, I'm not sure if you can see uh, the thing's charging, blinking green. So we'll come back tonight and test everything out, see how bright it is. All right, you probably can't tell on camera, but it is getting pretty dark out here. I do have some lights basically on the side of my house over there in the in the back. You know, but I got the light mounted basically right up here. And it's on about 30% power. This thing has four different modes, basically. It has where the lights is on 100% or off. It has light sensor mode, which it'll come on, you know, dust to dawn basically the sun's going down it has timing mode we can just turn it on for three hours five hours eight hours or it has motion sense mode that's what i got on now press the m right here on the remote control in the middle and the light will be at 30 percent until you walk in front of it you know it's a motion sensor and it'll get 100 percent. so let's watch and see what happens and hopefully you can see that on the video went to 100 percent brightness and you should be able to see it here in a second. As long as it's not detecting any movement, you see how it went back down to 30% brightness. And it's not completely dark out here. It's still uh, a little bit of dusk going on, I guess. It's 8.40 p.m., of course. So it's not completely dark. But I want to get out here and try to make the video before it's completely dark. So you can actually see me about what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you when it's completely dark, what it looks like with the light. And then there's four levels of brightness on this thing. It can go through those, you know, basically with a remote control. This could be like high, medium, high, medium, and low, I guess. So let's come back when it's a little darker. I'll do this test a couple more times. I'll walk in front of the light so you can see it if you missed it the last time. And then we'll wait till it gets completely dark out here to see how bright it is. See the light? And I have a camera up there too. Not a, my Arlo camera's coming on right next to it. So that's not it. It's this light up here. So you kind of see how bright it is right now over there. And we'll see when it goes back down to 30%, if you can tell more of a difference, you know, you can see a big difference, you know, as the sun's going down a little bit, we give it about 15 more minutes. It should be completely dark out here and then we'll do it again. All right, I back the camera up and I'm gonna move and see what kind of range this light has on it and if it's gonna move.
All right, as you can see, I turned my, my other lights off on my house. So the only light on over here is this one, and it's at 30%. And I turned my other outside lights off so we can see how bright this thing gets with the motion. All right, let's try it again. All right, this is just with 30% on, no lights on in my house from a different angle. Let's see what it does when I walk out here. 30% to 100. Not bad. Pretty bright light for sure. If you put this a little higher on your house, then I got it on my building. It'll light up even more of an, an area. Let's see if I can sneak by this thing on the side of my little minivan over here without the light going off. Didn't go off on that side. So you gotta get just, gotta get pretty close to the thing. To get it to go off. Maybe because I don't have it as high as it would be on my house. You know, but a couple of feet away from my the minivan, it does go off and then it goes right back down to that 30%. So you can still see out here, which not wasting the whole battery. The other yard over here. I'm gonna come around the building. Basically, it goes off right near my property line, but it does light up quite a bit of the area over here. Nice space. Not bad at all. All right, so what do you guys think of that? Uh, I think I'm definitely going to get some more of these lights, put a couple more around my house, so they won't be running off my system. There'll be a separate system that's on solar panel, be able to light up different areas, and uh, that's a little darker in the yard. You know, for security pur purposes, of course, or if somebody's just getting in and out of a vehicle, just so they can see. So, Haiku, they sell all kinds of different lights. So, you know, I got the commercial one, basically. You know, they got residential, they got street lights, they got all kinds of stuff. So, you know, you can go pick whichever one you think would work best for you. But as you can see, they are definitely very bright. And this one I got right here is... The BD street lights, and you know, I'm sure I have a discount code and I'll put that below. You know, but this is the commercial version, they have some that's a lot cheaper than this, so it just depends on what you're looking for. I wanted something as bright as possible, and as you can see, the light is definitely very bright, especially when it goes to high. And the higher you get the thing, you know, mine's not gonna be that, very, that high because it's on my building. You put it on the top of your house or the top of a, a light pole or something like that, it's gonna really light up a huge area. So you can go right on their website and see people that have put them in trees and stuff like that. And with it being up higher, it lights up a bigger area. But they have a lot of residential versions. And some of those are less than $100, from like $1 to $200. These commercial ones, a little over $300. It's probably definitely worth it, you know, even though it's a $300 light. Because it comes with a solar panel, comes with all the mountain brackets, and comes with a battery built in. And it'll be able to run all night. And we're going to check this thing in the morning to make sure it's still running. We'll probably check it about 5.30 in the morning and see how it's looking and if it's still running you know definitely gonna be good to go for all night you know normal purposes especially when you got on motion sense mode and it's at 30 percent and only going to 100 whenever you're walking by it so if you like this kind of video hey think about hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button and thanks for watching